Good morning. Um, let's see. Okay. Anyway, we are going to craft this morning. I have a cup of hot cocoa with coffee in it. And we're going to craft and make something pretty. We're going to make a folio. And I have things gathered all around me. Hey, Kim VZ, I'm good. I have stuff gathered all around me to work with. So, I watched, um, I got a little bit of cocoa on that. I watched a bit of Birdsong do a folio like this yesterday. I watched the video yesterday. She didn't do that. But, uh, they're made with file folders. And, um, I want to see how wide my thing is here. I think I want to cut down. Yeah, that's what I want. Right there. Let's see. I want my little cutter. Hey, Jude. You're painting red, red hair. I can't wait to see it. I cannot wait to see it. Okay, our folio is going to have these um, flowers on it. If I can get my cutter to, there we go. And I really want to cut that this right there. Just like that. And I didn't get that one done good. Anyway, and we're going to have this flower on it too. So let's get it straight. Cindy Lou Lou Bob. Here we go. Yeah, that's not straight. But it'll work. So those will be our front, our insides and our back covers. Okay. I do want to trim this down really good, though. Kids are out of school again today. Um, we dodged a bullet, major dodged a bullet, because if the temperatures had a drop like they thought they would have, we would have been in a mess. And uh, uh, thankfully, the temperatures didn't drop as much as they thought they were going to. And all we got was pretty much rain. We still have ice on the on the roofs and all that. I'm making a folio. I'm making a folio. Anyway, that's a little crooked. It's okay. We'll we'll hide the crooked side with with lace. <laughs> lace is the answer to all things. <laughs> So, yeah, but I'm cutting these out so that they will um, be, be, uh, uh, and I want to keep that because those are, that is really good thicky paper and it might do to make my twisties and y'all are like, what's a twisty? My circles for my, you know, you make those circles and then wrap your string around it to fasten it, my twisties. So, anyway, here we go. Get this one trimmed up, and we'll be ready to get started. Get ready to start folding. Then we'll start decorating. So, she took, she done an 11 by 14 one, and then she did this. And um, I just want to make sure that this right here stays wide enough for that to fit into so let's make a mark right there and a mark right there okay so the first thing she did was she folded up the bottom actually that wasn't the first thing she did the first thing she did was she folded up the um sides but I want to fold my bottom first. 
and then want to fold into see that mark right there. I want that mark right there to be my fold line. And then we're gonna fold that like that. We want to make sure we got it good and straight. Oh, I forgot to get out my lot my lace. My lace. Forgot to get my lace out. Okay. And then I want to hold into this line right here. There we go. And that's not going to fold into the inside. Actually, I may have to. Yeah, I'm going to have to trim that, aren't I? I may have to trim that there. Trim off that thing there. Right there. Yeah, that's going to have to be trimmed off. Let us trim that off. And then that'll go down just like we need it. It's a little crooked. But it'll be okay. And now we have a folio. And now we have a folio that oh, I'm going to go back out and refold this right here because it is over just a wee bit too much. I just want it over to like that. Yeah. And I scored that, didn't I? Oh, well, it'll be okay. I'm going to cover it anyway. Uh, there goes my phone making noises. The, the band app. If you don't know what band is, it's a place where you can make like groups and things and all that. And you know what I want? Uh, I want one of these to work on. So, there we go. We have our folio folded. And now, we're going to decorate on the inside. And actually, I should have probably not cut off. But that's okay. We're going to glue that in here. And where did my pencil go? There it is. I want to erase my pencil. Ticks. Uh-oh. Sorry if I just shook the camera race race goes okay so we're going to glue our paper in here and i think we're going to put some rick rack down and we're going to just go ahead and open that and glue that down let us find the glue stick so i want to know um uh, i have decided i have bought glues of all kinds and I've decided that I like working best with the Aileen's Tacky Glue Clear. I like the clear a little bit better than I do the white, although it all dries clear. Um, it's just thinner, a little bit thinner, but it still has the Aileen's um, glue abilities. Anyway, so I was looking online and they make a stick an aliens craft glue stick has anybody tried that if you have uh if you have post and tell me what you thought about it okay so we want this centered right here actually these are geraniums and we want that to go just like that what the page says anyway we're going to glue that down and i don't think i glued that very straight <laughs> in fact i know i did it look at that cindy Whew. my goodness that's not straight ah crooked <laughs> real bad crooked there we go let's see i think that's a little better What's under there my my bone folder so that's good now let us go right here in this right here this if you're wondering what i've got when i said let us go in this right here i have a tub of little fabric pieces okay and it's got some trim and stuff in it and that right there Ooh, that would be perfect, except for there's only one of them. Right. There's 
only one of those. What else do we have? Hmm, not that one. I have some snippet rows. Okay, there's nothing in there that I want to use. So let me turn around here and get in my drawer here. In my drawer. I think we'll do a piece of this. And then I think we're going to do in here and see if we can find the great big one. Hmm. Hmm. That one will work. Oh, that don't work. Ooh, that would work good good along the side. Let's see. Okay, that one will be good. And I know y'all can't see what I'm doing because I'm out of screen. But we'll just have to work there. I think that right there is what I'm looking for. Hello, puppy dog. I suppose you want to G O O U T. Won't go outside. Puppy wants to go outside, guys. So I've got this lace here. Let me open the door and let him out. I don't think he'll stay out very long because it's kind of wet out there. But we'll let him out. Okay, Bubba, we'll let you out. You can go outside. Go bark at whatever you see. Yeah. It's melting. Melt away. You go do your thing, pup. Thank God for a side yard. We have a fenced-in yard. We have a fenced-in backyard and two fenced-in side yards. One of the side yards we can access from the house, which is here, and one of them we can't. You have to go outside to access it. So, that right there. I guess what I want. Okay. Do I want here? I've got a straight pin in here. Oh, my phone is going to drive me crazy. Everybody started texting. Do I want a piece of lace like that? Or do I want... Hmm. Better drop. Pick that up. Or do I want a piece of this lace? I think I want this smaller lace. Because I think it blends in better. I think he just came back in. Did you just come back in, little boy? Are you in the house? Yes, he is. I heard his little wet feet hit the floors in the kitchen when he got in the kitchen. Go find your daddy. Hang out with him. Step on him with your little wet feet. There we go. Okay. I think we're going to go with the cream. Did anybody see? Okay, a folio is a, it's just a, a thing that has pockets for you to decorate, make look pretty. And, uh, <laughs> and, and the purpose of a folio is just to make pockets to hold stuff. So, um. What my plans are is to make up uh, several folios and um, put, yeah, I want that to go there and put a uh, ephemera in them and then uh, sell, <laughs> sell it, make, make it as a, an ephemera packet. You know, y'all know I like to sell my ephemera packets. So, that's what we're going to do. Okay, here we go. We are going to glue this down. And I'm going to use this. This is my last bottle of this. <clears throat> and if I find it again, I will be happy. But Dollar Tree kept quit carrying it. Hurt my feelings real bad. I don't mind paying a dollar and a quarter for glue. Oops, I threw my ink pen in the trash. I don't mind paying a dollar and a quarter for glue, but I don't like to pay three and four dollars for glue. Mm. Hot cocoa. Good, good, good. My throat is kind of yucky this morning. Sinuses. All this weather change. Yuck. 
But praise the Lord and pass the ammunition unless they change the forecast, which is highly possible. <laughs> I do live in Arkansas where the weather changes day to day, you know. But uh, we're looking at 50s and 60s for highs all next week. So that will be good. We've met, the kids have missed nearly two full weeks of school here. Let's see, last week they were out, they got out early Tuesday, they were out Wednesday and Thursday, and some of them were out Friday too because the buses couldn't get down some of the dirt roads, and uh, yeah, anyway, and then on, what day, and then this week they missed Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so far. <laughs> so, we'll see if they go back to school tomorrow. I suspect they'll have school for the kids that can get to school, the buses that can get down the roads. We, I mean, we, we are very rural, rural. It's a hard word to say. Lots of dirt roads where the buses have to run and stuff. So, we just have to wait and see what what tomorrow brings but hopefully there's a lot of melting today um melting that dries uh okay i like that now we're going to take oh i know what else i want back one right here of course I would be too close uh, let's see I think we will use this and go down the side of this right like that um but I'm looking for word stamps. <laughs> there, I got two there. That'll work. I was actually looking for, I've got a real big one. Oh, you know what? No, I don't want that. I've got these things right here. Maybe. Mm. Maybe that one or that one. Hmm. Don't think so. I don't think so. I think that's too much for me. Too much. <laughs> okay. I did organize my stamps a bit. So I kind of know what box all my words are in. Looking for bunches of words. I have bunches of word stamp. There it is. That's one that I'm looking for right there. Okay, Cindy, you didn't get that put in there right. Something went under it. What went under it? Little stamp packages. I swear. If y'all see me buying stamps, you slap my hands, okay? Mm. Or at least say, do you really need those? <laughs> Something like that. There we go. Okay, here we go. Now, we're going to take our thing and ink it up. And we're going to go with, I want to go with this pretty red here. Guys, until I can't remember who it was. I think it was April I saw doing this. I had a thing like this. And I didn't realize they slid out. I was always just trying to ink my stamp on just that one little piece. <laughs> always making a mess. 
then I realized they come out. <laughs> I know, I'm a goof. That's why y'all love me, because I'm goofy. Just admit it. And yes, I'm going down into the pocket, but the pocket's going to fold up. And actually, I shouldn't have even bothered stamping all the way down because I think, yeah. Oh, well, it's okay. That wasn't a good stamp anyway. So here we go. The pocket is going to fold up, Cindy. Remember, the pocket is going to fold up. So we only need to do one row down this. There we go. There we go. And I really kind of missed that. Ah. Now make sure that pocket folds up far enough. Yeah, of course. There. That'll be good. That'll be good. Okay. That's good. Now. We want to do this. And I know there's an easier way to do this with my little dauber thingamabob. But why would I do anything easy? Y'all know? Why would I? I pulled it out while ago. There it is. I did pull it out. There we go. That one's really crooked right there. We're just going to ink that up. Give it some smudgy, dirty look. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, uh, well, this one is definitely not symmetrical, but you know, uh, <laughs> I wonder, it's kind of like some of the things that people eat, you know, you wonder who first looked at and saw that egg coming out of the chicken butt and thought, you know, that might be good to eat. <laughs> but I'm thinking who was doing a project? And they had spent all this time doing it. And then they decided, let's take some ink and make the edge of it look dirty. <laughs> well, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that's good for right now. And yes, I need to put my ink over that. So Jude, don't yell at me about put your cover on your ink. Okay, next thing up is we want to take a piece of this lace. Right here. Piece of this lace right here. And we want this piece of lace to go all the way around this. All the way around to right here. So let's cut it. There we go. And let's glue it. But before we glue that lace on, because we want to do it last, before we glue, glue that lace on, we want to turn this over and I want where'd my bone folder go there it is I want to I'm watching 24 minutes I want to fold that down fold that down fold that down I want to glue my other piece of there it is, pretty on here and we're going to just do it like just like that these here are hibiscus I love hibiscus. I had a beautiful hibiscus at my house in Glenwood. It was so pretty. And uh, 
when we moved, we moved straight into a, um, a, a townhouse that we didn't own. We rented. So I had to leave it. I did dig up. What did I dig up? I dug up my clematis because it was one of the, and we planted it at my mom's and it died. Anyway, it was, oh, I've got the wrong glue. It was one of the last things that the boys had got me for Mother's Day the, the year before John died. I haven't talked about this. We'll do a little bit of story time here. I haven't talked about this much. I don't think I've even mentioned it on the channel. But uh, not this past Monday night this past Monday, but the Monday before that, the 23rd, was the 14th anniversary of John's passing, and uh, actually, I know this is going to sound bad, and people are going to think, oh, you're a bad mom, blah, blah, blah. I didn't think at all about John's passing, about the anniversary of his passing or anything. <clears throat> it hadn't even crossed my mind. Of course, Mondays are a little hectic for me. I'm always getting ready for the sale you know and um also um if you don't remember i've talked a little bit about the fact that a young girl that was in one of my children's church classes that i taught in uh clarksville had p passed in a car accident and monday was the day of her funeral and so i was you know just real concerned for her mom and her brother because I know you go through those first days very numb. And people will say, oh, you're so strong. You're not breaking down. You're so strong. Well, for the most part, it's really not you're so strong. It's you're in shock and you just are running on autopilot. And it's the weeks afterwards. And so they were just on my mind about, you know, how that the next few weeks are going to be hard for them. And probably are hard for them. Anyway, so that was on my mind. But one of my friends that when John died, she lived over in Oklahoma. Now, I can't remember where she moved to. Anyway, she posted to me that I was in her thoughts. And I thought, why is Michelle posting to me? Um, not not our Michelle Lawing, but um, a, a pastor's wife friend. Anyway, I thought, why is she posting to me? And then it hit me what the date was. And I was like, oh, it's, it's the anniversary of John's passing. That's why she posted to me. Um, anyway, I was a group. I was part of a group of pastor's wives um, that um, we had been in this group for a bunch of us for years. And, and we're still connected to some point. I don't think I want lace on this, even though I cut the two pieces of lace, I'll hold it. I'm going to put, I'm going to put some washi tape down the side of this one. Anyway, Michelle posted to me and, and I remembered, and I wrote a post about how that I knew my friend that lost her daughter was, you know, how that the day's coming is hard. And, and I know we don't mean to do this, but we as humans, first of all, when somebody loses a child, it's really hard on people who have children because they think, therefore, but the grace of God go I. Another thing that happens is, hey, Sonia, uh, I'm just a crafting. And so sometimes people start pulling away from you and they do it unconsciously. They're not trying to hurt you, but on top of the fact that you've lost your child, now your friends start pulling away because they can't handle the thought that what happened to you could happen to their child, you know? And uh, we saw that. We saw that a lot. And it made it even harder. Just It just makes it even harder because then you feel like, okay, my son died and now my friends are leaving me. And, and, and you may be thinking to yourself, well, what horrible friends. 
but it really isn't. They really weren't horrible friends. It's just losing a child is just something that is every mother's nightmare. And so then when somebody close to you in your circle loses a child, it's just, you know, for the most part, most people don't know how to deal with it. So, so I will tell you my advice about if you have a friend that has lost a child, my advice is just be there to listen. You don't have to offer advice. You don't have to try to fix them because you can't fix them. Just be there. Be there to listen. Be there to be a listening ear. That's all they need is somebody to listen to them for the for the most part. Just somebody to listen or to cry with them, you know. Um, just It's just about being there, guys. It really is. It's just about somebody that will be there with you. Anyway, so that was on my mind. And, uh, you know, yeah, I will always miss John. I will always wonder what kind of an adult John would have been. Um, I will tell you this. Um, John David had a tendency to be a follower instead of being somebody that was a initiator of being a leader and so he often found himself in trouble because he wouldn't stand up and say nope that's not right we shouldn't be doing that and um and so sometimes i wonder okay did god in his wisdom know that we needed to be spared something even worse than and you're thinking, what could be worse than your son dying? There are a lot of things that can be worse than your son dying. I'm here to tell you. There, there can be a lot of things that could be worse. For example, he could have gotten into drugs and overdosed and become a vegetable for the rest of his life, needing lifetime care. Um... I mean, there's just a lot of things that could be. So, anyway, and sometimes, you know, there's a reason the Bible says that God's ways are higher than our ways and his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Because he knows best. <laughs> we always think mama knows best or daddy knows best. But so, uh, the ultimate thing is God knows best. So, anyway, that didn't, I didn't mean that to get preachy, so... Anyway, but, uh, yeah, so, funny story about John, I'll tell you a funny story about John, we love fish, we like fried fish, we like tuna fish, we like fish, you know, and, uh, we had eaten dinner one night, and we'd had fish, and Dave was going on about how good it was, and, uh, John just happened to off the cuff say, it was okay, you know, it was good, but I don't like fish. We're like, what do you mean you don't like fish? You eat fish every time we have it. What do you mean you don't like fish? He said, I don't like it. So, said, but you eat it. And he says, yeah, because that's what you make. But I don't like it. Now, Jared, on the other hand, was, uh, <laughs> if you try to make him eat something he didn't like, it was, drama to the max he was uh he would gag and carry on like he was dying so he's kind of like his mother in that aspect i i can't eat things that i don't like i mean <laughs> there used to be be a a group of um let me think what were they called they were a group that did missionary work a, a group of ladies and uh, I had several friends that were in the group. I was encouraged to join said group. Anyway, I think we need a froggy right here. Anyway, and we're going to layer him with just a little piece of this lace. Anyway, I was in said group. But one of their tenets that you had to agree to was that you would go wherever they asked you to go. And you would eat whatever was put before you. And I was like, I can't. <laughs> you don't know i i can't 
I mean, there are certain foods that if I even smell them, I'm gagging. Butter beans or lima beans are one of them. Oh my gosh, they're horrible. Uh, they're like my nemesis. So yeah, I, I couldn't join said group because <laughs> I knew that <laughs> there was no way I could eat what it was ever put in front of me. So, but John was, he was so funny. He would just eat whatever you said. But then he was so dramatic about so many things. I mean, he was very dramatic. We teased him and called him our little drama queen. But uh, but he could be so laid back about some things and so dramatic about other things. And uh, he was he was a little sneaky. I've talked about this before. That he uh, Jared would tear the house down right in front of your face and look at you and smirk at you. John would go behind you board by board and take it down board by board till all of a sudden it all fell down and you never even knew what was going on. So anyway, but, but John was our John and uh, he was 14 when he died. He had turned 14 in October and then he died on the 23rd, October the 27th is his birthday. Anyway, he died on the 23rd. 20, he died on the 23rd of January. We found him on the 22nd, but he died on the 23rd. Anyway, and if you, if you want to know what I mean by we found him, my John, my son, died. <clears throat> he uh, hung himself playing the choking game, and uh, we found him hanging. And he was dead when we found him. But uh, we couldn't even, I tried to do CPR. We couldn't even get, I couldn't even get air in his lungs. He was cold. He'd been there for about an hour, hour and a half. Anyway, but when they came and got him in the ambulance, they, of course, they adrenalined his heart and got a heartbeat. But at no point did he ever wake up. There was, I mean, he was never there. You know what I mean? Never there. So that's not got enough glue on it. Let's do this. Some of this. Anyhow, I may need a little glue here. But yeah, he was a good kid. My boys, my boys were adopted. Um, John was a family member adoption. He was um, David's cousin's son that was removed from their home in Texas. We lived in Mississippi and found out that the state of Texas was looking for somebody to take John in. He'd been in foster care and his foster family actually wanted to adopt him, but the state wanted him to be with family. And so they contacted the family and asked and they said, well, maybe some of our family in Arkansas would. And uh, when we found out, we said, sure, you betcha. And we went, oh, this is a crazy. Yes, the frog is fabric. The frog in the, sitting on the mushroom is fabric. Uh, we went to Texas on the 4th of July of 1994. No, 1996. Sorry. John was born in 94. We got him in 1996. On the 4th of July, we went to Texas and met him, took him to the Tyler Zoo, and uh, uh, just spent spent that weekend getting to know him, meeting him. Uh, Dave's mom and them came, and anyway, so um, then uh, we came home. We had done, we already, because we had already done an adoption, we had adopted Jared. We had a lot of paperwork on file um, with the Department of Human Services, and they requested that from Arkansas. And we had also done, I've mentioned this before, we had also done a um, specialized needs program where we had been approved to adopt two specialized needs children. And... Um, Anyway, we had been approved for that, and and so all of that was on, we'd done all the classes, all that was on file, so they had gotten all of that information, 
and uh, this one's going to be funny because you can read it. But actually, I'm probably going to go back over. The may, may the comfort of God's love fill you with hope and peace. Uh, that's funny. I'm going to go back over this with. Let's see. Is that what I'm looking for? Yes. With this right here. And uh, this is Gesso. If you don't know what, I, what I've got here. Well, you can't see it, so I'm sorry. And you actually can't see what I'm working on. So, do rest, Cindy. Let's slide her up. There we go. So, I want a little piece of paper. Just like that. So, I can pour out just a little bit of gesso. And I'm going to just take my finger. And I'm, oh no, I'm going to go up over some of this. I'm, I want that lady's face hid. And I'm going to go over that. There. Go over that. There. I feel like I may need some more glue there. Anyway. Then they sent the um, CASA worker and the the uh, John's ad litem lawyer, his lawyer ad litem, to Mississippi and interviewed us and decided that the ad litem could act in both of our behalfs, John's and ours. And so on August the 6th, we went back to, to Texas and went to court before the judge and when it all started we were only supposed to get conservatorship i don't know if you know what that means but basically guardianship of john we were all just supposed to get guardianship and uh when it all said it was said and done dave's cousin found out that dave was the one that said that we would adopt john and uh he talked his wife into signing an adoption papers and we got John. And so, anyway. It just was, it was a God thing. And if you've ever read on my website, Cindy, uh, Loving God, Loving Pastor's Wife, if you've ever read our adoption story, you know it just was a total God thing. And so, I'm doing some stuff under here. I'll show you what I'm doing. I just stamped a little bit here and I'm just spreading a little gesso and I'm trying to spread it thin enough that it's going to dry really quick. There we go. Okay. And that's going to be like that. And that's going to be covered. Okay. Let's open it and come back in here. And this is not going to be covered this down here and these will not be covered so let's find what we want to do here maybe we'll do some of these words so, okay I shall be here Anyway, so yeah, it, it's um, January is usually a, a month that I just dread, but this is this January hasn't been that bad. I'll just, I mean, there's too much other stuff going on right now between my mom going to have surgery, me and Dave having all these stupid doctor's appointments. I mean, there's just a lot going on. So, anyway. Let's do this color right here. We're just going to do some of these words. And they may be okay. They may not be okay. We may do half of them here. Half of them there. Let's see. I want that to go back in there like that. We'll be grateful today. 
I've, this is the first time I've ever used some of these stamps. These right here. Make sure I got that all done. Let's be grateful. There we go. Yeah. Let's do, is that the one? A good man. Yeah, I like that one too. Let's do it in green. And we're going to do it partially on. That is actually a scripture verse. There we go. Cindy, Cindy, oh my goodness, if you're not just as dumb as dirt today. Sorry, guys, Cindy's being dumb today. <laughs> I just laid that on my on my lace that I'm going to put on the back side. Not smart, Cindy, not smart. Not one of your better moves, but it'll be okay. It'll be okay. There, that's the made the God of peace. <laughs> Tell me I didn't. Oh, I thought I just laid that down <laughs> in the paint. So we're going to just spread some paint around here. We'll spread some more paint here. We're going to spread some paint on that. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm sticking my fingers over in the ink. I could never wear gloves to do my to do my art, uh, but I end up feeling like I have to uh, take a bath after I've done it. Did I put that on the right way? <sighs> okay. I don't think I want any more of those words. Let's see. Let's put, we've got violets. Let's put a piece of this birdie fabric down. This birdie fabric is really pretty. Let's see. Feels like that. Anyway, oh. Uh, That's not straight across the top. I think that'll do okay. I'll straighten that up in just a second. I'll come across this. Now, you're saying, well, Cindy, that's really bright fabric. You're right, it is really bright. But we'll probably just stick our fingers over here in this paint again and uh, <laughs> spread some paint on top of it, right? There we go. Dave? Uh, it sounds like he's doing his morning routine where he shaves and all that. There we go. Okay. That is so crooked, guys. I couldn't cut something straight if my life depended on it. Thank goodness my life don't depend on it, right? Actually, there we go. You okay, babe? Dave? What? You okay? Yeah. What's wrong? Okay. Now, let's see if that'll work there. Just there. Yes, it does. It's a little long there, but it'll be okay. There we go. Let me just 
just dull it down just a little bit. So, anyway, I need to tell y'all a funny story. Do I have any funny stories? Mm. Uh oh, we are out of focus real bad. There we go. We focus back in. Oh, that was, I see why that was out of focus because I was shaking it. And I've got it moved down again. I'm sorry. There we go. Okay, you know what? Let's tilt that right like that. There we go. That helps. Yes. Yes, it's a manila folder that I folded up. And it will make pockets. And this is going to be the outside. And we're going to, uh, I'm going to glue a piece of lace across the bottom of it to make uh, some more pockets. And, um, yeah. And we've got this uh, hibiscus on the back. So our lace will go. Our lace has, did, is that the right piece of lace? Yes. Our lace will go like this. All the way across and see it's even covering some of that stuff all the way across the back and into that right there and we will glue that i'll glue the bottom down just the bottom and this side and probably on the spine i will glue here on the spine area i will glue that and then that will create pockets so yeah and then we're going to put some little disc right here, a little disc right here, and a little disc right here, so we can wrap string to wrap it up. And then uh, this right here is, this will create pockets on the inside. We'll glue this edge down. And uh, let me go ahead and glue that edge down now. Glue that edge down, and we'll glue this edge down, and then we'll have. Did I get glue there? Yeah, I did. Then we'll have these pockets to put ephemera and stuff in. And you know what? Let's see this piece. Do we want to do that? Yes, we do. We want to do that, and we're going to do this piece right here there we go okay Okay, and we're going to do that piece right there, right, right there like that, and we're going to take and do this. Where is it? There's, there it is. What color? Gold, yellow, that's fine. So... Not an original ideal. I watched uh, a video yesterday by a lady named A Bit of Bird Song, and she made one of these. So, oh, come on. I know you've got staples. I know. No, you don't have staples. Well, goodness gracious. I was sure you had staples in you. All you had was colored. Your little thing is colored. There we go. Come on. I want that color right there of course the color that's right in the middle i want it there we go there we go i have colored staples so we're gonna
Oh, are you kidding me? What is wrong with that? Why is that doing that? There, okay. <sighs> so we're making this a flap. And there we go. We're just stapling it on. Okay. Now stop it. What have you done? Well, aren't you just the helpful little knot stapler? There we go. Okay. So now you just can flip it up and see. And you might could write on that. We will. Uh, what's that one? No, that's not the one I want. We will take this right here. And put under here. We're going to put some of this gold ink on that. Put my ink up. We'll just do that. And that. Like that. And then we'll flip that like that. Now we need to decorate this piece right here. And let's go with this right here. Let's get a little bit of white paint. Oh no. I didn't mean to do that. There. Get a little bit of that white paint. We'll put a little bit of inky ink on that. Okay, hold on. Got gesso on my on my ink pad. I was trying to get paint off of it, and I got gesso on it because <laughs> because I had gesso on my finger. <laughs> okay, just a little bit of this paint, and then we're going to glue this piece right here on, and we're going to just use my good old tacky glue. It's just dripping off the house so much it almost sounds like it's raining. But it's just dripping. It's just melting. What we need for it to do is melt out of the trees so that we don't have electrical, lose electricity, any that's in the trees. There we go. We'll glue that down. And the inside is done. The inside is done. We can move that out of the way. We can put our lid back on our this. <laughs> that. And this is done too, except for just gluing our lace on. So where did our good lace go? That's not it. Oh, it's on my leg. There we go. So we'll go ahead and start gluing our lace on. And I'll tell you more than likely after the glue dries on this lace and I change the color of the thread in my sewing machine, I will more than likely sew the lace in. Sew it down. Oh, I got to go up further with my lace, don't I? I will take and sew it down. Because we all know that Cindy likes to sew on paper. <laughs> she don't care nothing about sewing on fabric. Unless it's making stuff for this. <laughs> but we know she likes to sew on paper. There we go. We'll come across this side. Now I think we're just going to put a little bit of glue right up to there. Just to help it stay in place, you know. Okay. Bring it across like that. Like that. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Of course, you would take it up too far, Cindy. Overachiever. <laughs> Let's just go get it a little here. There we go. Hi, Tammy. How are you, hon? And there we go. That is glued on. I got a little bit of overhang there, so we'll... Trim it off. And now all we like is making our little thingamabobs. And we will make them out of what do we make them out of? I know. I'll make them out of one of these. Okay, here we go. Okay, that right there is going to be our guide, and we're going to fold this like this so that we can cut it four times. Ooh. So, I don't have a hole punch that punches this size hole, so... We're using one of my little thank you for supporting my small business stickers as a guide. And I'm cutting it out of this cardstock. This is cardstock. It's an actual card um, that you decorate. There we go. Go back down there. Okay. There we go. Dave, uh -huh. are you feeling better now? Well, sure, okay. <clears throat> okay. So we've got four of those. I like to do them double thick. And we're going to glue them together. Glue them together. And then, what are we going to glue on the outside of them? I think we'll glue that little piece of fabric there. On that one. Dave would get a lot of good sleep if his wife wouldn't keep asking him, are you awake? Are you asleep? <laughs> I woke up last night. Well, yeah, I woke up because I had been asleep. We went to bed at right at 10 ish, 10, 15 ish, something like that. Anyway, and I woke up at 1230 and told Dave, are you awake? <laughs> and then I told him, you know what? I'm hungry. <laughs> He said, well, you can get up and have a midnight snack. And I was like, it's after midnight. So, anyway. So, I got up and didn't eat anything because I'm not normally a morning eater. My belly's getting kind of rumbly tumbly. We we're just over an hour and I didn't mean to go this long, but I want to finish this. So, we're going to do that. And then we're going to be done. Okay. Then we're going to be done. We're going to stick a fork in us. All that kind of thing. It's going to be done. Oh, I do know one thing I want to do, though. Because I have this thing about <clears throat> staples. I don't like staples sticking out of anything. So, we're going to fix that. And 
and then we're going to fix this. Now you just slide yourself back over there. There we go. There we go. So I think I think we're going to put those on that. Like that maybe. No, we may have to put it like that and like that. I think that's how it needs to go. Okay. We need, oops, to find a bucket. A bucket of stuff. Those are not the bucket drawers. Oh, there's a bucket drawer. Not that one. Where's our other little things? Oh, there they are. No, that's snowflakes. You don't know, want snowflakes. There we go. Well, I did have a hole punch that was close to that size. It'll be okay. What we've done will be fine. Okay, we want one of those and one of those. I like that. Let's pick that up. And where did it go? Where did it go? I have a, such a mess over here, you guys. Oh, that'll be okay. Huh. Let's see. Hmm. That's not what I'm looking for. That's not what I'm looking for. That's not what I'm looking for. There it is. There it is. That right there is what I'm looking for. And I want it to go across there to cover up those staples. So we'll cut it right there. I didn't forget about the staples. <laughs> I knew they were still there. Come on. Quit being silly. How long have you been married, Sonia? Dave and I have been married 37 years. We got married at a quarter to midnight by the county judge. November the 4th, 1985. We weren't supposed to get married until March. And he decided we should get married earlier and told me, let's get married. I told him we were. He said, no, I mean the not. He said this to me at 10 o'clock at night. And I, being the unwise person that I am, well, not... I said, if you can find somebody that will give us a marriage license at 10 o'clock at night, I will marry you tonight. And by quarter to midnight, we were married. <laughs> and it stuck. And it stuck. It did, it did. I told him when we got married that I didn't believe in divorce, but if I had to kill him, I would. And I think he was conv convinced. And I told him, <laughs> I told him last year in August, well, no, was it last year in August or was it the year before in August? The year before, I think, in August. Was it in 2021 that he got med flighted to Oklahoma City? I think so. I told him that trying to leave me by dying was not allowed. Oh, I, yeah, I didn't know Dave in high school. If I'd have known Dave in high school, we would have never been married. Because Dave was not, he was a heathen. 
to quote my mama <laughs> or my daddy, either one. He was the kind of kid, I told him, I said, you're the kind of kid that my parents would not have ever let me date. So, anyway. Come on. There we go. Are you kidding me? Now, why aren't you wanting to pop off? I ain't believing that mess. And it didn't work anyway. Now, what, what's up with that? You can't just go around ruining my thing. Give me another one of those. Need the bright shiny ones. We say this, we've said this, I've told this as a kind of as a joke, but it's really not a joke. <laughs> I mean, it's really true. It's really something that my mother-in-law used to say to Dave. She thought he would end up in prison by the time he was 21 because he was into illegal activities. <laughs> But he didn't. He got saved. And by the time he was 21, he was preaching. Well, you are just not cooperating at all, little thingamabob. Wonder why you don't want to cooperate with me. But we, we'll fix you. We sure will. We'll turn that around and hammer it down another way if we have to okay there we go there's that one now how in the world am i going to get that one on ay 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 how is that going to work it may not where did it where did it even go we've lost a circle Will the circle <laughs> be unbroken? Oh, my word. You people, I'm losing my mind. There we go. It's gone. I do not see my circle, my other circle. Where did it go? <laughs> do y'all see it? Does anybody see my other circle? There's that circle. There's all of that and that. Do we see the other circle? Huh. What happened to my other circle? Do not see it. That is the craziest thing. Of, oh, there it is. In the floor. Well, we're going to put it on differently. Let's go into this one right here we're gonna have to put it on different because there is no way i'm going to be able to get my um thingamabob in there my uh you know my punch there <laughs> i know what i'm trying to say guys i promise i'm okay here we go give me that little bitty hole there we go i'm gonna do that and that like that and then that one's going right there so we're going to open that Right there. There it is. There it is. Right in the middle of our <laughs> of our thing. Well, flitter far. Y'all know I don't like things like that. There we go. 
Okay. Cover up that. We'll just do it like that. Cover it up. There we go. Only your hairdress will really know. There we go. That goes in like that. That goes like that. And we just need a string. But you know what? That can actually slide up under there like that and hold that. But we'll put a string around it. Surely we got string somewhere. Pretty string, actually. My drawers are not wanting to stay shut like they're supposed to today. They are misbehaving. We'll just put some of this. Just like that. Around that. And then that will just go like so. We go like that. Guys, I really didn't think this would take as long as it's taken. Just to do the truth. I thought we'd do this much quicker. <laughs> Why would I think something like that? Why would you think something like that, Cindy? Why would anything ever go as fast as you thought it would? So there we go. So now, and then I I can fix that. So we've got pockets here. Pockets here. And then we open it. We'll open it. We got pockets in here. And so then we would just fill it up with ephemera stuff. I have a package of ephemera that I got from uh, Kristen, and I'm just going to put some of it in here just to show you what we would, what, I mean, the whole purpose of it is just to put ephemera in. So that one's going to be too big. So we would put like little stickers in. More stickers. Some plant pages. And see, once you start putting things in, these are car pictures. Once you start putting things in, you cover up what's in what your pockets are. Some tags. That's some just some paper. And a picture. So, and then we can turn it around. Oops one needs to scoot over it's in our bin we can turn it around and even slide say slide a picture like that in you know what actually and another thing i'll show you that we can do that one's real pretty so i wanted to cut it so it sits and then you kind of kind of see that that's pretty i like that just slide in ephemera. I didn't put a whole lot in there and slide things back in there. But you can also, let me see, I think, is that the right drawer? Oh, I have so many things. Oh, that's cute. We'll have one of those. But that's still not what I'm looking for. There it is. I see it right here in this next drawer. We'll have one of these, though. If I can get it off. Come on. Don't be silly. There it is. Wrong. Wrong again, Cindy. You were wrong again. I know they're here. Just the, um, just the other day I had them. There they are. You're kidding me. Oh, my gosh. I just dropped it and dumped every one of them. <sighs> anyway. Trying too hard to find things. So, we've got this piece of fabric. And we can, uh, we can pin a little pin to it. And then pin things that will hang off of it. Like, um. Uh, like dingle dangles and stuff like that can hang down off of it. So anyway, like one of these. Can't believe I just dropped that. <sighs> that just irks the far out of me. So here we go. 
So we'll just pin that to that lace. And let it hang down like that. It's a number. 1093. I don't know what that 1093 means. It's just the number. <laughs> there we go. One, two, tie that up around that. Tie that in a knot there. And then we will, which one of those is longest? Don't really matter, does it? Then we will cut it off right there. And then that can go just like that and wrap up around that and then back around that like that and there we go we have our first folio that's the first folio i've ever made and uh we can thank um a bit of bird song for that she showed it it was i was like that looks nice i want to do one so there we go I will be adding some more ephemera to it and all that. And I'm going to make several of these uh, to put ephemera in and uh, sell them as ephemera kits. And there we go. But y'all don't get to keep my picture or my tag. <laughs> these came from Kristen and I really like those. Actually, you may just get my paper, a little bit of my paper. Oh, and we can do that like that so you can still see the pretties. And we could always leave that one empty and just put small things in it. And actually, that could be trimmed down really a lot. Guys, I have books and books of stuff I need to cut up. I have some beautiful plant books, but I'm really, really reluctant about cutting up my plant books. Because I have some gorgeous plant pages. So, anyway... But yeah, it turned out real cute, didn't it? So anyway, and we'll do that and that will be good. And I may put some oh, and I found this. I thought this would be cute, just slid on it like that. And then if you didn't want to put it in the pocket, you could just slide that like that. So or you could put that anywhere into the into the um thing i have a bunch of these great big ones i have some little rose gold ones too actually you could do it like that and put it on that so anyway hey robin how are you so oops i keep folding it wrong but i like the little flappy in that it turned out cute i mean it would have been a lot easier if i hadn't had a mess i was working around this morning i got I got such a mess here, it's unreal. So, and now I have a mess in the floor where I just dropped that whole little bucket. This little bucket was full of hundreds of those little pins. So now I got to pick them all up because <laughs> I don't want my puppy to eat them. I love these yellow staples, but I like that I covered the yellow staples back here. Now this one don't flip up. It's just the little froggies just there. Isn't that little froggy fabric just adorable? So, anyway. And I just like wrapping it up. We'll just wrap it up. I may have to put some Mod Podge over the edges of that fabric there. So, anyway. Yep. You love those pins too? Did you not send them to me? I thought you sent them to me. So, <laughs> anyway. I don't know. I buy so much stuff, it's unreal, so I don't know where a lot of it comes from. Some of it I can tell, oh yeah, Jude sent me that, but some of that little doodah stuff, I'm just like, where did I get this? Did I put all my tapes back in there? If not, we'll find them. So, anyway, that is a folio, and sorry guys, I've gone an hour and a half almost, so thanks for being with me and staying with me, and uh, if you make one, Tag me and tell me so I can see it, okay? Bye-bye. I'm going to say bye now.